The U.S. is facing a double surge of coronavirus cases because of the Delta variant and now the Omicron mutation that is also spreading. The CDC says Omicron cases seem to double every two days or less. CBS 4's Courtney Keeley has the latest. The bells of the National Cathedral in Washington rang last night, marking this week's grim milestone, 800,000 coronavirus-related deaths in the U.S. Hospital staff already stretched thin from the Delta variant are bracing for more cases due to Omicron. At this point, there is no need for a variant specific booster. And so the message remains clear. If you are unvaccinated, get vaccinated. At least 36 states and 76 countries have confirmed cases of the Omicron variant. The vast majority of COVID cases, about 98 percent, are still the Delta strain. But in states like New Jersey and New York, rising Omicron cases are about 13 percent of all cases. We expect to see the proportion of Omicron cases here in the United States continue to grow in the coming weeks. In South Central Wisconsin, there are more patients hospitalized with COVID-19 than in any other time in 2021. At this hospital, all the ICU beds are full, as well as rooms for less severe cases. This is the only empty room we have today, yep. As Omicron cases spread, some colleges and universities are going remote, among them Cornell, which had an outbreak of about 1,100 cases, despite most of its students being fully vaccinated. Princeton students will take their exams online and are being urged to head home for the holidays as soon as possible. Courtney Keeley, CBS News, New York. And there are reports that CDC advisors will meet to consider possibly limiting the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. According to the Washington Post, those advisors will discuss whether benefits of that particular vaccine still outweigh any risks amid new data that appears to show the rate of blood clots associated with the J&J &J shot, though are rare, have increased since April.